Whenever the pendulum swings is when post commentary is going to appear. Now on with the video. Gas canisters are, you know. Good morning, mademoiselles and messieurs. Mystery Man 64. Coming back with another segment of post commentary podcast. This is a continuation from the previous one where I'm going on a rant about the items. I could have done so much more with time trauma, but it is what it is. Which I will be doing, so you know. We will only be doing a small part of time trial mode. Well, would you like to see me do these courses a fifth time? And then a sixth time? And then a seventh time? Little does he know, there is far more than just six or seven tiles. Tiles? Three separate times. First time to unlock the ghosts that can appear. A second time to beat the first ghost. And then a third time to beat the second ghost that appears. Because if you do fast enough, you do it fast enough. It's definitely English. Or else beat entropy. You can race against an oxide ghost. What past me is trying to say is that you can race and beat the entropy ghost, which then unlocks the oxide ghost. Fast enough to unlock a beaten the artist ghost of the oxide ghost, which what it is. That doesn't matter. You still have to do all the races to unlock it and then beat them. And then there are the bubble shield, which is one of my favorites from no real particular reason. I just like it. Oh, I have a reason. It's like how cool it is. The bubble shield is really cool because it is both an offensive and a defensive weapon. You can use it to shield yourself from attacks and you can also shoot it at other people. The green bubble shield will slowly dissipate, but the blue bubble shield is permanent. It is a very interesting item. It's rare to see an item that is both offensive and defensive, and that's why it's one of the coolest items. Always hit the turbo. And then you can do fancy stuff like I'm doing. Or don't. But there's invisibility. Which I think. It's only battle mode me. Ah, uh, again, I keep trying to do that one. You should really stop. And yet you do it a third time. But I want to try things I've never been able to do before in this game. Mayhap there is reason to it, me. That you should not do it. Yeah. You know, it's fun to try to better yourself in a game. It can be, anyways. Like, I know the merit to speedrunning. Because speedrunning is very cool. It's about mastering your craft, you know? It's it's very interesting and cool. It, it, it has its audience. I just don't think I'm a speedrunner. But you can also get three of an item. The only three pairs you get are the... Triple turbos, triple bombs, and triple missile. I think are all the triples you can get in this game. You know, there's no triple green, triple nana. Getting Mario Kart references. Oh, that boosts are the equivocal to mushroom, so. Yes, but invisibility, I think, is a battle mode only. You turn invisible. It's an ability. It definitely is an ability. I'm not sure what kind of utility it has, besides from making you invisible. You are. I don't know if other people can see your wheels, or if you're just invisible for them. Because it's not like the boo where you're transparent, I don't think. I still think you can run into other carts and things. And it definitely doesn't steal an item like boo. The wheels might be fake 3D. Yeah, cause that was a 
tactic to use in some of these 3D racing games that the wheels aren't actually three-dimensional. No. Where if you look at them from a top-down view, they're actually completely flat. And for some reason, I decided now was a good idea to start messing with the camera features of the game for some reason. Oh. And, uh, that happens. That'd never be cool. Of course not. You can't see where you're going, me. Why would you ever think that would go any other way? Game while in this mode. I'm sure someone can. Uh, even for me, that's terrible. Even for me, you've never done it. We've never done this. This is something we have never done, nor ever will. What are you talking about? Play almost... Say down backwards, man. I mean, patting your head and rubbing your tummy. It's almost like let's playing. Wait. <laughs> huh? Oh, the meta humor can only go so far. And it's though. And it's. I think that's all the items. Oh, and then there's the equivocal of the lightning bolt. Uh, which is the stopwatch in this game. There are also some beta items, but that's the did you know gaming thing. I am not an expert of old knowledge or betas or game historian, you know. That is not I. Uh, the further ahead they are, the more they are slowed. It is uh, no matter what, everyone who has it is slowed. I know a lot, just not I've everything. Never been, um, I've never seen the AI ever use a stopwatch if they've ever had it. They only seem to ever use potions, bombs, or TNT, or missiles. I've never seen them use masks. I have never seen them use the blue orbs. I have never seen them use the stopwatches. I don't know if I've even seen them use super engines or the normal boost. I don't think know? they even use the bubble shield. I think the AI only does so much, you know? Does the AI in Mario Kart even use certain items? They do. They use oh, every item. Game, they, they just don't. They don't They don't use some of the stuff, regardless of difficulty. They just... I don't know why they were programmed like that. But. It's honestly very fascinating. You know, I'm sure there might have been some limitations to it, to not give the AI, the AI the ability to use every item, but it is what it is, you know. I remember that back in the day, back when I was a wee lad and Crash was at uh, Universal. I think they sold this game there. I can't remember if I got my first copy there or not, but I definitely remember it somewhat as them having this game there when I was a wee lad, maybe. And there was a Crash mascot, I think. I think. I could be wrong. I was very small. Basically, I was very small. I've been playing this game for years. I've never it's seen it for as long as I've played this game. I don't know if they can. I really don't. If they're able to use them for as long as I have been playing the game. Just been almost my entire life, practically. Basically. Or was it Worlds of Fun? No, it had to be Universal, because Universal and Naughty Dog were a thing, yeah, so it had to have been Uni. Must have been a long time ago, though, man. Long, long time ago. As you can tell, doing the same courses. They are fun courses, and I just love this game a bit, so... I don't care. I'm like a kid in a candy store here, man. <laughs> this is my jam. It's a jam, man. This game. Got I don't a slam care. jam. I've already played these courses. Like, you think just a normal completionist is a lot? Oh, no. No, 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 no. All day, every day, I've played this game. I've played these courses hundreds, if not thousands of times over. What are you doing in my neck of the woods? Insanity Beach. Oh, come on, man. I'm. St it's definitely based off of Australia, I'm pretty sure. The Insanity Islands. Mayhap. I think. Pretty sure, maybe. Probably. 
Am I peeking? I'm probably peeking. I know I peeked the mic before because I had the limiter. I said take it off, so maybe it'll be better or worse. It could equally be worse. Oh, that's the fun. It's how the fun. Oh, I do know. I do. Truly. And that's enough for this one. We went over pretty much everything I can think of. The gyms do do something else aside it sounds from... like I said gyms when it's gem. You know. Good job, me. You want a gym. Hi. From unlocking one of those warp spaces for time trial relic. They do something else, this I assure of you, but uh... Don't go in just yet. Yeah, you do not That'll want to do that, this me. One, but I'll just continue off here in a bit. Indeed. So, next time, I'm... Thank you so much for watching this segment of Post Commentary Podcast. The last one, if I'm able to... I should be able to do the last bits later. Plus, those are the most fun ones anyway, so... Next time, the blue and yellow gym cups. Until, Until then. then.